Do I need to introduce the boxer in the dark fist? I hardly think so, but it is Barry McGuigan, former featherweight champion against Damien Friars from the Holy Trinity. And if anybody thought that McGuigan was going to walk away with this, it looks as though Mr. Friars is out to disillusion him because he's getting off to a very quick start here. Friars has met McGuigan before. They boxed in the semi-finals of the Irish Senior Championships last season and it went to a points decision. So Damien Friars knows what he's up against here. Although in fairness to McGuigan, it must be pointed out that at that time he was boxing, having just recovered from an injured hand. And in fact, after he boxed Friars, he had to withdraw from the final because he aggravated that injury. However, Damien Friars isn't going to give in very easily on this one, quite obviously. Friars is just 18. Barry McGuigan will be 20 next week. There's been a lot of talk, of course, about McGuigan turning professional, but I understand that it's almost certain he won't do that until after the European Championships in Finland next May. Well, isn't it a surprise to see McGuigan under a bit of pressure from an opponent? And Friars using a left hook well. And Barry's having to move around a bit to get away from this. And McGuigan has a little nick under his left eye just under the eye and there's a right hand from Hawkins from Friars now McQuiggan coming back with the right hand as we come to the last minute of this first round ah uh, yes there's McQuiggan that was a good hook to the chin I don't think Friars is very badly hurt but that certainly landed on his chin so now, let's see what Barry McGuigan does now. With 30 seconds left of this round, and again it's McGuigan getting in with punches to the head. And once again, McGuigan has to fight on the retreat as Friars comes after him. Oh, McGuigan is beginning to get the reins now, and his right hand landing to the head as we end that first round. So, Barry McGuigan from the right, at the end of the first round, getting the reins for his punches, but earlier on, under quite a bit of pressure from Damien Friars. Now, Friars started off at quite a fast lick. Question now is, did he start off too fast? And Friars holding with his left hand as he hit with his right. McGuigan using his feet well and very quick with his hands when he does throw and McGuigan boxed well in the defence of there as Friars come in. <laughs> Referee Jack Monaghan cautioning McGuigan for hitting round the back of the head. And Friars always ready to fight back. He's taken some good punches from McGuigan but he's fighting back all the time, and look at that good punching to the body from Damien Friars. Now, anybody who thought that Barry McGuigan was going to walk this one is getting his eyes open quite a bit. But McGuigan is now settling down and getting in his punches very well, and he got a good right and another one. And Friars getting a standing point. Now the crowd are booing, but Friars took several good punches to the head, 
and I think referee Jack Monaghan quite justified. And there again now, this is McGuigan with a man at his mercy showing now. And again, McGuigan with the left hook. A minute left of this second round. As McGuigan now begins to pour in the punches from both hands. And there's another one. Friars have no defence to that. But notice that Friars is always prepared to come forward. 30 seconds left as Damien Friars fights back. That right from McGuigan just missed Friars' chin. Coming to the end of the round now. McGuigan again picking his punches. And a good left hook to the face and a right. And we're now seeing McGuigan in full cry. So, McGuigan in the dark fist. See if he can keep up the good work after a rather shaky start in the first round. And it's McGuigan picking his punches even though he's going back, he's scoring. Wigan using his feet well, he's not standing around to catch punches, and as he moves away, he keeps throwing out his own punches. There's one, good left hook to the head, to the body. And Friars again, fighting back very well. Certainly Friars is always ready to swap punches with McGuigan here. Good right hand from him, but McGuigan coming back. And Friars told to keep his head up. And uh, that little injury under McGuigan's left eye, I think just a little bit worse than it was, but nothing very serious. But there's good punching from Friars. McGuigan surprisingly let himself be caught in the corner. And it's still Friars who's prepared to fight back. McGuigan's really having to go some here. And McGuigan cautioned to keep his head up. A minute left of this featherweight final at nine stone. And Friars really has made a fight of this. McGuigan very wild with his right hand and his left. And good punching from Friars. And Friars doing very well now as we come to the last 30 seconds or so of this contest. <laughs> McWicken's reputation means very little to Damien Friars. And Friars showing that he's very strong. Very strong indeed as we end the featherweight final. And Barry McGuigan there got a lot more than he bargained for, I would think. Hello, James Herbigan, both. And now a big round of applause for Cassie Bowden Yes, it was a very good contest, and they're the best of friends at the end of it, let it be said. And the winner of that contest, an Ulster senior featherweight champion for 1981 and holder of the Sears Ulster Cup, McGuigan in the World Cup. Well, I think Barry McGuigan, with his more accurate punching, certainly deserved that verdict. But let's give credit to Damien Friars, 
He really made it a